Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. This one will be on harms, AGM-88 harms in the F-18. So we got three harms loaded up here. We got that one and then we got two over there. Um, today's video is going to be about um, target of opportunity mode and self-protect mode. There's also a pre-briefed mode, which I'm going to do in a separate video. Um, but this one is going to be target of opportunity and self-protect. Um, so we'll just come out of octave pause here. First thing you want to do, we'll go through controls. Um, air to ground master mode, you can also, it's defaulted to two on your keyboard. Um, we'll also have air to air, but air to ground. Um, and you can just press the button in the cockpit itself. Um, we are going to need raid slash FLIR field of view select um, to select our target. Uh, we might need cage on cage, I think, and sensor control switch left and right. Um, we also are going to need weapon release button. So I think that's pretty sure that's everything. Um, so first thing we'll do is target of opportunity mode. Um, just gonna turn, that, turn it off. So we want to go to air to ground mode, you can just click there as well, select our harms, we'll select target of opportunity mode, and eventually once we get close to the target we will get some radars spiking us, um, you can also set this to our EW page so we can see that better. Um, so I'll talk through the other ones. So basically this, what we're going to do, once we find target, we'll set this to soy with sensor, what is it, sensor control switch left. Um, and once we get some target, I'm just going to speed up because they're a little bit away from us. Um, I will talk about first, just while we're on our way there, the self-protect mode. So self-protect, uh, what that will do is once we get a target here, we can then just select that target with our read slash FLIR field of view button um, and then it just automatically will select a target that's spiking us and then we can for um, locking us and then we can engage it another thing that I learned about recently that's really cool I think is this here it says self-protect harm override if we unbox that no matter what mode runs rule I'll do this in air to air mode um, or if you have another air to ground weapon selected and you have a FLIR pod up and you're just looking for targets um, if you have self-protect mode selected for your harms and you have that unboxed, it'll just have a code that just says, or it just pops up, it says harm on your HUD when you're getting locked. And then you can just press weapon release button to um, fire a weapon at that target. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty cool. So you don't even have to be in air to ground mode with that on. So I'll demonstrate that once we get closer to the target area. But for now, I'm just going to go into target of opportunity mode, uh, and I will be right back once I start getting spiked. Alright, so we just got spiked by a target. Um, you can see a box around that on HUD where it is. So we have our left DDI selected. Um, we are going to press... oops, no, it's cage on cage. Sorry, my bad. So we're going to press cage on cage, and it says H off there, so we know we have that selected. Master arm on. Um, your range to the target varies depending on your altitude and speed, so if you're not sure, get to a high altitude and a high speed and you should be fine. And now we're just going to press weapon release button, and that's one harm away. Let's retrim this, it's got a weird asymmetrical loadout. And it's selected at that one, so now it's whatever. Um, Alright, next one what we can do, self-protect mode, because that's basically all there is to it for that. If you have multiple radars popping up, you can press, um, I believe this is the raid slash FLIR field of view select button, and you can cycle through the different targets um, and pick the one that you most need to engage. But we'll go into self-protect mode here, um, put our autopilot back on. Coupled autopilot. Though, I think we have to be getting locked by this target in order to do self protect. Oops. Oh, actually, I did it. So you can see, I think we have a box around there, that on the HUD. We can fire our next one, and that should go to that target. 
And now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go into air to air mode. And I'm just gonna have stores here. So we have this, our harms here, it still says SP, harm override is unboxed. So we're in air to air mode, we'll just keep going ahead along here. And we'll wait until we get locked, I'm gonna descend a bit here actually. I'm pretty soon sure we should be getting locked up by this SA6 that's right ahead of us. Or not, actually, because it just got destroyed by our first harms. Our first time took out that radar. I'm hoping that that SA2 that's up there is going to engage us. Or try to spike us, anyway. Doesn't look like it. Alright, I will be right back into this mission and then I can actually set this up to do it. So, hold on. Okay, so I am being spiked now by this target, and I am in air-to-air -air mode, but I have the harm... Un I have the harm self-protect mode unboxed. So I'm in air-to-air, -air and I just fired three harms at this target, and I'm out of harms. I'm probably about to get engaged, so I'm just gonna run away here. still getting spiked so we're gonna watch and wait and hopefully in a minute or so we will see that we will stop getting spiked because we destroyed the radar so this mode is really most useful if you are if you have one or two harms with you but you have something else you're doing in your mission um, you can prepare your harms for that, and in case you're starting to get spiked by radars, you can fire a harm or two at those, and you don't even have to change what you're doing. You just have to press weapon release, and it will automatically, um, has them prepared for you. Uh, useful feature, you know. Um, hopefully soon, where are my harms going? They might have gotten shot down. Where they're getting... Nope, they landed. I don't know why I'm still getting spiked, because the radars are in this condition, but we'll disregard that. Oh, there we go, they stopped. Anyway, um, as always, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. I hope you can implement some of what you've learned here. Hopefully you've learned something. Um, in your missions, uh, I was just basically, I was reading through the manual trying to learn how to do more of the things in the Hornet that I don't typically do. Um, and this was one of the things that I came across that I really only knew how to do target of opportunity, kind of, but I sort of forgot. So it was helpful for me to relearn how to do it and um, learn a bit more about it. And hopefully you guys have now been able to learn something about it too. So, um, like I said, uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, if you want to consider subscribing, I would really genuinely appreciate that. Um, check out all my future videos. Um, I'll be doing more tutorials soon, I'm sure. I got a couple lined up. Um, but anyway, you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.